Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. So today we'll be talking about a uh, signing risk policy and news risk policy. So basically the signing risk policy detects the suspicious actions uh, that comes along the way with the signing. So it focused on the sign-in activity itself and analyzes the probability that the sign-in may not have been performed by that particular user. On the other hand, if you consider the user risk policy, so the user uh, risk policy detects the probability that the user account has been compromised by detecting the risk events that are uh, typically of the user B behavior. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, start. So initially go to the Active Directory. So you can uh, see. And here go to Security. Here you can see the Identity Protection. Just click that. And here you can see the User Risk Policy and Sign Risk Policy. You can go ahead and edit. Let's click uh, User Risk Policy. So here you can uh, add the users. In this case I have already added three users. You can go ahead and click uh, three users and you can add any other user that you want and uh, coming to the controls and coming to the user risk you can specify whether it's high medium uh, or above or so on uh, and coming to the axis you can block the axis or uh, you can allow the axis so if you're going to allow the axis it's a best practice that you use the password change for the user risk policy so I'm just keeping it the default right now. I'm just giving it the block and just done. And uh, coming to the sign in risk policy. Similarly, uh, you can go ahead and add, uh, add the users and uh, sign in risk. Coming to the axis, you can block or you can allow the axis with MFA. So this is just a difference between uh, sign in and user. Coming to the uh, sign in, you can see you, you need to use the MFA if you allow them. On the other hand, if you consider the user risk, you should uh, reset your password. So that's the uh, basic difference uh, between this and coming to the M you can also uh, use this MFA, you can cl uh, click it on. So whenever all the users are using the passwords, for sure they need to use uh, MFA. So I think you can uh, skip it for first 14 days, but uh, on the other hand, like you need to uh, keep your MFA with you. And coming to the reports, uh, you can see uh, risky users reports and risky sign-ins. So these are the risky sign-ins uh, that uh, the system has been identified and risky detections. So these are uh, the basics of user risk policy and sign risk policy. Let me show you the authentication myths as well. Mm. So you can see here authentication methods. So whenever the users sign in, so you can go ahead with the pra uh, password protection. So whenever the user uh, is not able to type his password for his first three attempts, the account will be locked for first 60 seconds. And you can see there are two different modes, enforced and audit. So if you set to the enforced, the users will uh, be prevented from the setting banned passwords and the attempt will be locked. On the other hand, if you consider the audit, uh, the items will be only logged. So this is the main difference between these two. So I guess uh, you have understood the what is the user risk policy and what is the sign risk policy. So if you have liked the video, please click the like button below. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. And thank you guys.